Welcome back to The Energy Professor. Are you tired of those ever-increasing electricity bills? Well, what if I told you there's a way to harness the power of the sun without a massive upfront investment? Sounds intriguing, right? Well, stick around because today we're diving deep into solar leases and explaining exactly how they work. Before we get into it, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more ways to save on solar panels and check out our home savings calculator on theenergyprofessor.com to see how much you could save at your address by switching to solar panels. All you need to do is enter your home or business address, select your property type, then select your estimated monthly electricity bill, and that's it. Our tools will calculate upfront costs after incentives, 20-year benefits, tax incentives, the total 20-year savings, and how many years it will take to get paid back from installing panels. You will also be able to see the savings no matter if you're looking to buy, lease, or loan your solar panels. You can get all this plus a free quote on theenergyprofessor.com. Welcome back. I'm your guide to tell you all things solar, and today we're tackling a popular way to go solar, the solar lease. You might have heard about it, but what exactly does a solar lease mean and mean to lease your solar panels? Let's break it down. Think of a solar lease a bit like leasing a car. You don't actually own the solar panels that get installed on your roof. Instead, a solar development company owns them. You, as a homeowner, make fixed monthly payments to this company for the right to use the solar energy the panels produce. So how does this translate to your electricity bill? Well, once those panels are up and running, they start generating clean electricity. Your home will primarily use this solar power instead of pulling electricity from the grid. This immediately leads to a lower electricity bill from your utility company. In essence, you're swapping your electric bill from the utility company for a hopefully lower bill from the solar leasing company. Here's a cool part. You still get to take advantage of net metering. If your panels generate more electricity than you use, that excess can often be sent back to the grid, potentially further reducing or even eliminating your electric bill. Though keep in mind, there still might be some fixed charges. Now you might be thinking, this sounds amazing, zero upfront cost and lower bills. And it can be, but like any financing option, there are pros and cons to consider. Let's start with the advantages of a solar lease. Zero upfront costs, reduced energy bills, no maintenance responsibilities, and predictable monthly payments. If you want us to go more in depth about the pros and the cons, check out our other YouTube video explaining them in depth. Now let's talk about the potential downsides. No eligibility for tax credits and incentives, price escalator, difficulty selling your home, doesn't add value to your property, and lower long-term savings. Again, if you want us to go more in depth about these pros and cons, check out our video. We'll link it in the description down below. So when might a solar lease be the right choice for you? Generally, a solar lease might make sense if you don't qualify for the federal tax credit or a solar loan. It can be an option if you want to go solar with no upfront costs and are comfortable with the terms and potential limitations. When does a solar lease make sense? Purchasing your solar panels, often through a solar loan, typically lead to greater long-term savings and benefits. With a loan, you own the system, you're eligible for tax credits and incentives, and once the loan is paid off, you essentially have free electricity. Before you jump into solar lease, it's crucial to shop around and get quotes from multiple local installers. Pay close attention to the lease term, which is usually about 20 to 25 years, the monthly payment, and especially the annual price escalator. Look for leases with low or no escalators if possible. Also, understand what happens at the end of the lease term. You can purchase the panels, have them removed, or renew the lease. In conclusion, a solar lease can be a way to access solar energy with no upfront costs and predictable monthly payments. However, it's essential to be aware of the loss of tax incentives, potential increasing payments, and the complexities it can add when selling your home. For many homeowners, exploring solar loans as an alternative financing option is often the more financially beneficial path in the long run. So there you have it, the ins and outs of solar leases. I hope this video has helped you better understand how they work and whether they might be a right fit for your energy goals. 
If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to The Energy Professor for more solar insights. Have you ever considered a solar lease or gone another route? Let us know in the comments down below and stay tuned for more solar power energy videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.